What if your legs giving out on you wasn't a sign that you're getting older or that you're just out of shape, but instead was your arteries in your legs crying out for help? I want you to picture this. You're walking through the grocery store and a few aisles in, you start noticing that your calves start burning and then suddenly they start screaming in pain. You stop, maybe pretend to check your grocery list or check out your phone. The pain fades away and you start walking again, but the next aisle over, the same thing starts happening. You chalk it up to bad shoes, maybe it's your weight, or maybe you're just tired. But what if it wasn't that simple? Because if you're living with type two diabetes or obesity, this could be peripheral artery disease. And it's a whole lot more common than what anyone is talking about. And the same medication that has helped millions lose weight and balance their blood sugars, semaglutide, AKA Ozempic, AKA Wagovi, might just be the saving grace that can help you to walk further with less pain. And it might help by fixing the blood flow problem in your legs from the inside out. Today, I'm gonna to be breaking down the STRIDE trial and how semaglutide, AKA Ozempic, might just help you walk further with less pain and be the next big thing that's gonna help people with peripheral artery disease. Oh, and before we jump in, don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you are here for science-backed insights that changes lives and not just the number on the scale. So let's start with a little bit of background. What exactly is peripheral artery disease or PAD? You can think of PAD kind of like bumper to bumper traffic in the arteries of your legs. Plaque from cholesterol builds up in your leg arteries, narrowing down those blood vessels, which limits the amount of blood flow, oxygen, and nutrients that can get to the muscles in your legs. And what exactly happens? Well, you walk a block, your calves start burning, you stop, you rest, the pain fades, you then walk again, and the same thing starts happening. This is called claudication, but really it feels like stop and suffer. And the really scary part is, is that PAD is not something that's rare or uncommon. It is quite common if you have type two diabetes or obesity. And it's not just a leg problem. It is a huge red flag for problems with the rest of your cardiovascular system and potential risk for things like heart attacks and strokes. So if you have type two diabetes, struggle with your weight, have a history of smoking, or have things like high blood pressure, previous heart attacks, that sort of thing, you definitely wanna be getting monitored and checked out for peripheral artery disease. And even if you don't have any of those things, some red flags for you to watch out for are going to be leg pain, cramping, and burning with walking that goes away with rest. If you have a slower walking pace or feel like you have heavy legs, if you have cold feet or really shiny skin that has no hair on it or anything like that, those could all be indications that you have a reduced amount of blood flow going to your feet and your legs. Other things to watch out for would be poor wound healing or maybe toenails that just don't grow quite right. And as I said before, PAD not only raises your risk of things like heart attacks, strokes, and so on, it also increases your risk of limb amputations and it can tank your quality of life very quickly. And the worst part is, is that most people don't even know that they have it until it is too late. Now, as a quick aside, if you're wondering which GLP medication does what, what are the side effects, what are the expectations in terms of weight loss, what are the things that you need to know about all the ins and the outs amongst the big names such as Mogero, Zepbound, Wagovi, Ozempic, Red Belsis, and so on, well, you are in luck as I happen to have a well laid out, beautiful little one page handout that gives you all the details that you're gonna need. It's free, it's evidence-based, and yes, it's actually easy to read. Just click the link down below in the description, enter your email address, and I will send it directly to your inbox because you deserve real answers and not more confusion. Now, our current treatment of PAD is pretty limited in that we have a few medications that we can use such as blood thinners and other things that can make maybe help open up the vessels and such. But the main actions that we do are gonna be things like lifestyle changes and surgery. And even then, they're not always super effective. But we have found that semaglutide, AKA Ozempic, might actually help. And that's because it's a GLP-1 medication that has a few extra perks. It can reduce inflammation, it can even improve blood vessel function, and it might even help us to grow tiny new vessels, which gives us that backup circulation we need to get better blood flow going through our legs. 
It's kind of like upgrading your rusty plumbing. We get better flow, less clogs, and less pain. Now, the stride trial here showed just how beneficial semaglutide or ozempic can be at a dose of one milligram once a week. What the authors did here is they took about 800 individuals that had type two diabetes and peripheral artery disease. This group of people could walk greater than 200 meters, but they had significant painful symptoms. And they split this group into two individual groups. One group got semaglutide one milligram once a week, and the other group got a placebo, and they were all followed for a period of 52 weeks. And the goal of the study was to find out if we got improved walking distance, less pain, and an improvement in quality of life. Now, as for the results, we saw some pretty significant results come through. In terms of the primary outcome, which was the max walking distance, what they found is that semaglutide improved walking distance by 21%. And this effect was 13% better than what we saw with the placebo group. In terms of pain-free walking distance, we saw an 11% improvement in the semaglutide group over the placebo group. And there was a significant improvement in quality of life measures. So not only did walking get easier for these individuals, it felt emotionally better as well. And the other perks that we saw was that the semaglutide group lost about 11.4 pounds from baseline, there was improvements in blood sugar control, and even after stopping the medication for a period of five weeks, the gains that people got while being on semaglutide stuck around. And hey, did you know that keeping your Wagovi, Zepbound, and Ozempic pens at the right temperature while traveling isn't something that's optional, it is essential. These medications are temperature sensitive. If they get too hot or too cold, they are gonna degrade they're gonna break down and they're no longer gonna be any good to you. And that is why I recommend the For All Family Travel Coolers. The two models they have is first the Voyager, which can provide continuous refrigeration via USB power or a biogel ice pack that is TSA approved. Or you can pick up their smaller Nomad model, which is smaller, sleeker, sexier, and is great for one or two pens, but it can keep your medications cool for 28 to 30 hours, which makes it perfect for those weekend getaways. And because you're one of my amazing viewers, you can use my code DANB10 and get 10% off your order at forallfamily.com. Again, that's DANB10 at forallfamily.com. The link and everything that you need are all down below in the description. Go and check it out and be sure to protect your medications and travel with peace of mind. Now, I threw around a bunch of percentages and that sort of thing, but what do those actually mean in terms of the real world picture? Well, on average, that led to a gain of walking 40 meters further than what they were previously prior to being on semaglutide. Now, I get it, that doesn't seem like much, and by no means is that anywhere near a marathon or anything, but if just going to the grocery store leaves you winded or in pain, that can be the difference between finishing your errands completely or needing a motorized scooter. I mean, imagine living with pain every few steps and suddenly you can walk a block or more without being in pain. This really isn't just about walking more, it is about living more. It's gonna allow you to be able to go for a walk with your grandkids, being able to run errands without needing a pit stop at every block, and it's gonna help you to reclaim your independence one step at a time. For a condition that we usually treat with surgery or stents, having a medication that can have this kind of effect is is revolutionary and is one more big win for the GLP-1 based medications and all of the amazing things that they can do and how they can help people from all walks of life. Now, I want to hear from you. Would you try some magnetide for walking pain or improving your walking distance and not just for weight loss? And have you or someone else that you love struggled with peripheral artery disease? If so, I want you to drop a comment down below, share your story, and let's start talking about it. And if you are finally ready to rebuild your relationship with food, your body, and your health, then you need to come and join us in Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. This is your science-backed support system and community that is built for people just like you. You can find it by clicking the link down below in the description or downloading the Mighty Networks app and searching up Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. Check it out, reclaim your health, and I can't wait to see you in there. All right, that is it, and that is all, you beautiful people. I know you love this video, so be sure to like it and share it with anybody else that you think is gonna get some benefit from it. As well, don't forget to smash the subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. And be sure to check me out on all my other social media channels at the official Dr. Dan. As well, check out Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub, your go-to resource and community for support in your way to losing weight and your health.
All the links, everything you need, and all the products that I recommend are down below in the description. Go and check it out. And as I always sign off, please remember, be kind to yourself. And remember, it is the small tweaks that lead to those massive peaks.